All right, we've got a Baxi Duotech Combi giving us a E28 fault code. Um, when you go on Toolbox app, uh, this comes up as a flu thermistor, so that's already been changed. Uh, the old one is here, but it's still thrown up at E28 and you can't reset it. Now, E28, although it says flu thermistor, uh, when speaking to Baxi Tech, it actually means that it could be a fault related to any component. So the first thing we check is X401 connection on the PCB uh, to see if we've got continuity across it, uh, which we didn't. Now that relates to the air pressure switch on here. So at rest, I should have continuity across this. So... Yeah, no continuity. There's no continuity across that, but as soon as I bridge out the connections on the air pressure switch, mm -hmm. right, so as soon as I've bridged that up, the boiler has gone straight into the one mode. So it's recognised that there's continuity there, but. We haven't got that there. As soon as I break that, that can be E28 again. All right, now this air pressure switch, if you look at this hose, that goes back onto the condens. So I'm suspecting, possibly, a blocked condens, which is stopping this from giving us continuity. So, get that in there. That's what the problem is. Condenser is backing up and that's stopping the air pressure switch from making and stopping the boiler from firing. There you go. That's what's stopping the boiler from firing. So I'm going to take out the trap now and see where it's blocked further down. That's all the stuff that came out of the condenser trap. Now, that my air pressure switch is empty, it's not full of condensate anymore. Let's try and get both these on. Right, there we go, got my continuity. So where that was, condensate was backing up through there, going into the air pressure switch. At rest, this should have continuity across it, which we didn't have because the water backing up in here was breaking that switch. So now if I put it all back together, U28 is gone, demand is on. And there we go, that's all lit up nicely.